Hello to everyone. Few days ago, there has been a very scary news in Europe, in the modern France. The news was a 12 years old girl from Jewish origin had been raped by some friends that were students that studied in the same school. So, in my opinion, this news has been particularly sad. Why? Well, because in Europe we are facing a high level of anti-Semitism. But the main question that we should find an answer is why there is so much anti-Semitism in Europe. Well, there are several reasons that explain this tremendous backlash of anti-Semitism. But before going on with the presentation, please remember that there is my book on the European Union, Eurodementia. This is the Spanish version because I didn't receive the, the English one, but you will find the link in the description of this video so you can find the, the way to, to purchase it if you are interested. At the same time, if you like my video, please remember to give me your like, to subscribe to the channel, and please share this video with your friends. So what are the reasons, in my opinion, of the high level of anti-Semitism in Europe? Well, Europe has been experiencing a relativism of its society. In which way? Little by little, because mainly because of the leftist force that run Europe, they want to cancel the origin and the culture of Europe, that is, a Judaic Christian culture. So, and thanks to the culture of the relativism, there is an acceptance of the new cultures that are coming to Europe. In the particular case, Europe is experiencing an invasion of Islamic migrants that arrive, especially from the north of Africa, from Middle East, and from the Far East. So, in the relativistic optic of the European society, in order to better adapt them, there is an acceptation of their culture. For example, in Berlin, a few weeks ago, there, there was a, a protest organized by a group of Islamists that wanted to impose the Sharia law in Berlin, in the modern Germany. Imagine what would be Germany with the Sharia law, for the one that knows <laughs> what is the Sharia law. So, from we have first the relativism, second the mass immigration of Islamic people from Islamic culture, and then there is a third factor that is ignorance. If you see the many marches that run around Europe, England, of people protesting against Israel, you will see that in these marches, usually you have also the LGTB plus community that protest together with people that are pro-Palestine. But at the same time, you have these people, they don't know that actually these community are widely repressed in the Islamic country. And in many cases, the people belonging to this community have been killed or are killed. And they are protesting, for example, against Israel, that is the only country where the people that are belonging to this community are respected. So it is quite bizarre to see that. Or many students that protest, that sing genocide song like from the river to the sea without knowing ex exactly the meaning of these songs. They simply go and they protest without knowing exactly the reason why they are protesting. So uh, this is Unfortunately, the situation in Europe, a Europe that little by little is forgetting its past in order to embrace new way of seeing the world. Part of the past that is forgetting, that in my opinion it shouldn't be forgotten, is the fact that in Europe there has been a terrible genocide and the victim of this genocide had been the Jewish community. And the responsible of this genocide is not only on the shoulders of the Germans, is on the shoulders also of many other nations that had been invaded by the German, but in, in which they found the collaboration of local people in order to denounce, for example, Jewish people. So there is a mixture of factors, and but probably the one that is the dominant one, in my opinion, is ignorance, a lot of ignorance. And this is, this, in my opinion, the sad explanation why we have so many anti-Semitic sentiments all throughout Europe. 
please, if you like this video and this analysis, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.